Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing my empties bin, going over products I moved, moved used up in, what was it, August and September. Um, again, moving boxes, I'm moving, probably already have moved by the time this is up, but I got quite a bit of products in here, mainly skincare products. So if you are interested in seeing what I used up in August and September, then just keep watching. <laughs> All right, guys, so like I said, this is a lot of skincare stuff. Like, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, so I got my interest bin and I got my trash bin because I'm just gonna be throwing it away as I go because it's all used up. So let's go ahead and get into it. I do have a skincare product. This is the L'Oreal Elvive um, Total Repair Damage Erasing Balm. This is like $5 off at Amazon and it is amazing. I already have another one in my shopping cart to purchase. It's got like almond, almond protein and ceramide in it. It feels so good when you put it in your hair and you leave it. Like it makes your hair feel really soft. So I definitely loved that. Um, I have two toners in here. I have this Paula's Choice Exfoliate Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant and this whew, Inkyless Glycolic Acid Toner. I love both of these. Um, I think I like this one more it's more expensive for sure this you can get at sephora but it's cheap both of these are recommended by hiram so again i think if i had to pick i would pick this one this one's a little more tingly on my skin um i don't use it every day in the days that i do use toner it's only really at night so i think i would get this one um it's in my shopping cart on amazon again but i just haven't purchased it yet Next, we have another product from The Ordinary. This is their vitamin C suspension in silicone. Um, it's like 30% or something. This I got at Ulta. Um, I did not like this. I did not like how it felt on my face. Um, it was a little bit too tingly for me. I do have a vitamin C serum that I'm working through that I got in BoxyCharm. I like that more than this. So this I would not repurchase. And next we have this Olay. Olay. Um, whipped active moisturizer with sunscreen spf 40. i got this in a box box from influencer i used it up but i would not repurchase it um didn't really like it it left more of a white cast i'm currently using the first aid beauty mineral sunscreen has some long name um but that is a lot better it's so much better and it's got like a little bit of a tint to it so i will not be repurchasing this Another item that I got from Influencer was this Indeed No Acid Pads from Indeed Laboratories. Um, they're like exfoliator pads. I like these. They weren't my favorite. They were a little bit lacking in moisture. Um, like I felt, felt like I had to use like two of them for it to get like all of my face. If I were to recommend any um, pads like this, I would go with the First Aid Beauty ones. They're, I think they're like Radiance pads or something like that. Those are a lot better. Um, like I said, I didn't purchase these. They were sent to me, but I don't think I would go get them. However, they did send a melting balm, like a makeup melting balm that I'm using, and I am loving that. I still have a while to go for that, but again, I would not be repurchasing this guy. Next, um, I have some BoxyCharm items that I got. So I got this Kylie Skin Foaming Face Wash. So if I'm sent stuff or if I get stuff in BoxyCharm, I try to always use it up even if I don't like it. Thankfully, I don't really have sensitive skin, so I don't really break out to things. Um, the only thing I really liked about this was the foaminess of it, but I can't say that it really did anything for me. Um, it was nice to use it, I guess, but definitely will not be repurchasing this. If you guys have used Kylie Skin stuff, let me know because I've just seen like a lot of mixed things, mainly like not good things about it. So yeah, a couple other BoxyCharm things um, I got was this No Pore Blunt Primer from Touch and Soul. I have another primer from them that I'm using. I have a lot of pore minimizing primers, which I don't really have like extremely noticeable pores, so it's not like I 
I need to go out of my way to get them. I like this. It was a little bit on the thicker side for me. Um, don't think I'll be repurchasing it though, but it's a good one. Um, Soap and Glory has like a one heck of a blot one that you can get at like Walgreens or CVS. I think you can even get at Ulta and I prefer that over this. <sighs> Next we have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, is this even used up? Yeah. Um, not worth it. Not worth it at all. L'Oreal Lash Paradise is even better because this is too clumpy for me. Um, CoverGirl Exhibitionist is better. Uh, Essence Lash Warrior or Lash Princess is better and half the price, like less than half the price. This is not worth the hype at all. I will never purchase high-end mascara probably ever again because the drugstore mascara that I get is just chef's kiss. Um, more BoxyCharm stuff. Um, the Elemis Superfood something, Kaika, Sika, however you say that, Calm Hydrating Juice, Juice, Ugh. Juice. Um, does this have a weird smell? Yeah, kind of, sort of. Um, again, like I don't have sensitive skin, so I can pretty much just use whatever. Um, Elemis is okay. Um, I'm pretty sure this is really expensive, so I would not go purchase it. I'm fine with using my cheap, like ordinary inky list skincare products that I have. Um, I do have a couple like medium priced items and like maybe one or two high end items that I'm using, but I would not repurchase this or go purchase this because I didn't buy it in the first place. Um, so yeah, there's that. I think this is the last thing that I got in anything. It's this product beauty hair girt. It's like yogurt, but hair girt. Um, this was okay. I think I got this in Ipsy. It was either Ipsy or BoxyCharm. I can't remember. I would not purchase this. It wasn't that great. I feel like I had to use so much of it in order for it to make any difference in my hair. The one from L'Oreal that I mentioned in the beginning is way better than this one. So yeah. Okay. So that is all the items that were sent to me in things. Um, a few more skincare items is, this is no surprise. You guys know I love this. It's the Neutrogena Hydro Burst Gel Cream. I've gone through Lord knows how many of these. Um, I use them all the time. It's like my go-to moisturizer. Although I am using a different one right now, um, but I still prefer this. So definitely we'll be getting more of these. Next we have this Ordinary Niacinamide. This 10% Niacinamide and 1% Zinc. I already I already repurchased another one of these. I'm already using it. Absolutely love this. Again, from The Ordinary, you can find them at Ulta. They are definitely worth the hype and they are so inexpensive. Another inexpensive thing is the Cetaphil or Cetaphil Hydrating Eye Gel Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. So I don't know why I bought this. I thought I was getting the CeraVe. I got them mixed up and I got this instead. Um, it's okay. I know Hiram says like, eye creams aren't really needed. Like you can just use like this and just put it on your, whatever these fingers are, ring fingers, and then apply it to that area. Like eye creams are not needed. Um, so I would not repurchase this. However, I am using an eye cream from First Aid Beauty that I am absolutely in love with. I got it because shocker, Hiram mentioned it. I talk, I talk about Hiram like we're best friends, but like he doesn't know who I am. So anywho, um, he recommended like this nice cinnamide brightening eye cream. It has like a little bit of a tint to it. So on days that I don't wear makeup, I love to apply it because it just brightens up the under eye area so beautifully. Okay guys, I have two things left. So first off is this NYX professional makeup thing, eyebrow thing. Okay, so sad story. Um, I actually really, really like this and I was using it and I accidentally, um, twisted it up too much and broke it. So yeah, um, unfortunately I'm not gonna repurchase it because I don't need another brow product right now. I have a few that I'm trying to work through, but I would like to um, get this once I run out of those because it's such a nice, it's such a nice brow product. Um, it's got like a really nice shape to it and the spoolie is also really nice too. So I do recommend this. Again, it's the NYX Precise Brow Pencil. There's a couple different ones they have, but this one is the Precise Brow 
pencil and it's got like this really sharp thing like right there and then the last one we have is this elf 16 hour camo concealer in medium peach um, I do have this one in hydrating I think I prefer the hydrating one more but I love the camo concealer um, I don't think I would repurchase this one again just because like I said I like the hydrating one um, but yeah guys that is everything in my empties bin my son is currently yelling he's supposed to be taking a nap so ignore that if you hear it um, if you guys have used up any products drop them down in the comments I'd love to know your thoughts on things you've used up um, if I mentioned any of these products and you would repurchase them also let me know um, but yeah guys that is all I have for today's video make sure you like this video give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down whatever however you feel about it you know um, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I do have more giveaways coming up on my channel for those who have subscribed. But yeah, guys, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.